lovely Fabio. You've played at all sorts of venues. What's been some of your favourites? I like the underground stuff. Yeah. You know, I'm more kind of suited to my music, which isn't kind of like that commercial, really. So yeah. people that know what they're going to come and hear, yeah. I kind of prefer that a little bit more, you know. I don't do a lot of kind of raves anymore. Yeah. It's more clubs, and um, this is wicked. How's it going on Radio 1? Yeah, yeah, it's wicked. We just um, finished doing a tour. I actually love the radio, because that's where we started. It's more of a kind of relaxed vibe. And I can kind of prefer that sometimes. Basically, what we wanted to achieve, we was um, doing it on a London station, yeah. and we won loads of awards and stuff for that. And um, we just wanted to kind of spread it nationwide, yeah. you know. And um, people listen to it on the net as well. Yeah. They pick it up on satellite. We get calls from like faxes and stuff from Germany, all over. What are you up to in the near future? Um, got an album coming out on my label, Creative Source, in August. And we do a nightclub called Swerve on a Wednesday night in um, Charing Cross. Going to Australia for the first time, I've never been. And I'm looking forward to that, and Brazil as well. Yeah, there's a lot of things happening. You see German bass taking over? No, I don't, I don't think that's going to happen. I think all the hype it had a few years ago, I think it did it a bit of harm, really. Because it's never going to be kind of commercial, watered down stuff. It doesn't work with drum and bass, you know what I mean? It's got to be underground and deep. People think drum and bass is dead, and we've had such a bad rap recently. But um, I think this has just made everyone stronger. Do you think it's important to take influences from different types of music and keep an open mind? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, house. I still play house quite a lot. Yeah. And um, it's the roots. That's where me and Groove Rider are coming from. You know, people tend to forget that. But I, I listen to everything. I really try and keep my ears to the ground. Techno and house and whatever's happening. I like the French stuff. I like all the French kind of disco stuff. I like all the really groovy stuff. How did you learn to DJ? Um, I remember just watching people. Got my decks and um, and that was it. I think it's all more about structuring it as well. Right? It's not only about mixing, it's about putting the records in the right place. And a lot of people think if you're a good mixer, that means you're a good DJ. I, I don't believe that at all. I believe it's the way you play music. What would you do, do you think, if you weren't DJ? I don't know, you know, being porno films or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's because I can.